So, this is it. The Dark Brother Sanctuary. This is Thrall. How's it going, gamers? And welcome back to yet another episode of Skyrim. In the previous episode, we um, went and, under her guidance, attacked the bandit camp where the champion of Boethia had been holding up. After defeating him, we were granted the title of Boethia's champion, as well as his nifty armor, the Ebony Mail. Now, Jin's going to feel out an agreement, or not an agreement, but an offering that was made to him. Not too long ago, by a woman named Astrid. And that is why we find ourselves here, surrounded by the banners of the, of the Black Hand. A cave of obviously once ancient Nordic nature converted by the, this cult. Sithis. It's faint, but Jin can smell it. Rather, he can sense it. Astrid's presence. Not much. Masked. Usually, you can tell there's someone nearby by the scent of sweat. Birds, strains, almost like she's being magically concealed from. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. So, what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. Family? This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Somehow I don't. I am honored to be a part of your family, Astrid. Thank you for allowing me. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one. The Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything, but you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Of course. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, oh, but one last thing. <clears throat> a welcome home present. The Armor of the Dark Brotherhood. Armor, right. Um, May it serve you well in all your endeavors. I'm not usually one for armor, sure actually. You introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. Um, hold on. Let me, uh, is there a bit of privacy that I could have? I'm going to change just right here. I need to, how does this look on? How does this feel on me? It's... It's all right. I mean... I don't... It's... Leather's kind of stiff. I'm not used to such a thing. Oh, I didn't know this. There was a black hand symbol right there. That's kind of cool. It's fine. I like the hood. I do like the hood. But, 
think I'm going to stick to my robe. Unless, do you have... Um... Oh, I can't wear my crown with that. Uh, do you by chance have any robes around here? I, ah, ah, right here. I see. Uh, let's try these on, I suppose. Um... Da -da, da -da -da. I'm going to change over here. It smells a bit musky in here. Not used bedroom, I guess. These are more comfortable, though. Um. Okay. I'm gonna download a mod between this episode and next episode. I can't believe that's the fucking enchantment on the shrouded robes. What for Dark Brotherhood? Excuse me. Um, this seems more my style. Perhaps the shoes. I'll keep them in mind. Hood. Can I wear this hood with the ethereal crown? No, I can't. Fine. There's reasons I have other things in my inventory. All right. This will do, I suppose. I hope it's not in too inconspicuous, no, like, big designs on it or anything, is there? I don't know, the feel is comfortable. <laughs> again, again, do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait, here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> so My God! But you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh yes, please, old man, regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid, always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell, little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so quick to joke. <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny. At he left. wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now a master of the whispering and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> These people truly are powerful. Uh, uh, hello. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional oh, little family. Right, I've heard quite a bit about you. Talking. The Rhetoric um, contract? Yes, yes uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Save the niceties uh. for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Okay. Astrid said you had some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Uh, sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. Okay. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. 
All right. Tell me, Mizir, what can you tell me about yourself? Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. I see. Um, I need a moment to, um, walk You've around a bit. you to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Uh, I thought you were, said there was no hurry. I wish to talk to the people. To know them. First, this master who killed a monk of the Whispering Fang style. I can't believe that. You must be incredibly powerful, well, well, my friend. It's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. I thought. Oh. So you must be Astrid's husband. My. That's kind of intimidating. It's nice to meet you, Arnbjorn. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. Oh, uh... What can you tell me about yourself? Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but... That's pretty my personal. My wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. All right. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. Are you... I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Later, Hamhawk. Let's not talk to him. I'm pretty sure I'm blue. <laughs> Chin's like, wait. It's the one thing I've been told my whole life. You. Hello, Marsh friend. What are Welcome, you doing here? Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. It's nice to meet you, Vizara. You just trust in Astrid, follow her orders, and you'll do fine here. You seem to all hold her in high regard. Almost like a mother. Once I was a shadow scale. An assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh. Mind by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. I've heard of the uh, dark the dry the Shadow Scales. Today, your heroes. I'm the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I see. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. I'm glad you're happy here, Marsh friend. Right then. A shadow scale, the last of his kind. Incredible. What is that I hear? A word wall. Well then, that's two new. S that's a a new word of power for me. Marked for death. Did I get drained by? Vitality? Okay, drain vitality. I still do have it. One point of health. Wow, I forgot that that's a thing. Fuck. That's weird. Why is there two? Anyways. Um. 
Next to the girl, I suppose. Um, Babette, I believe I heard your name was. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Ah, I love that one. Gag. What do you mean by gag? You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun, and we look out for each other, just like any family. Stay safe. Um, Babette, can you tell me more about yourself? Don't let my appearance. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? Not after it's everything true. I've heard I'm you no say more already. I'm than you are. I was once, of course, three hundred years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. That makes me uncomfortable. Um. Can't wait to hear all about the next person you murder. Good thing you're only obsessed with killing. Okay. Hello, Gabriella. New brother. May I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. It's nice to meet you, Gabriela. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. I mean, I've been told that before, I suppose. What can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In Same. fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. Oh. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. God, I forgot about Gabriella. Who? Hello. Kill well and often. Oh, hello. Hello. Um Jin's scared and horny right now. It's <laughs> The only time he's been, like, kind of, uh, I would say, truly turned on. <laughs> Since uh, arriving in <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> spiders. They... You just have pet spiders. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm... That's fine says as it's very much very clearly not fine yes yes you're the new family member let's make this <clears> easy <throat> consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to you go your way I'll go mine well if we're going to consider each oh, other's family much of an obsession these days with not Nobody ever expects a fireball from the darkened corner. <laughs> You've got a point there. Um, tell me, Festus, why can you tell me about yourself? Where I grew up from, we don't ignore family, even the crazy ones. <laughs> Unless I, I have a like crippling disease, then of course the we get cast to the side. Hand. Well, not literally. You could see how painful that would have been for mother. But I was a prodigy. Casting Hello, this man. spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ha! Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. A bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts completely. I, I sure hope so. to teach at the college. Ah. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Oh, well, we actually needed to utilize quite a bit of destruction magic in our current um, defense oh, of the. Uh, incinerate some poor bastard for me! To the college. Did you know I'm actually um, Archmage? Yes, yes, I'm your brother, and I'm supposed to greet you respectfully, so hello! There, satisfied. 
these people don't care. <laughs> Jade's like, these people just don't give a fuck. I wanted to have a cool discussion with a, with a, technically a colleague. No. Fuck off. Have your, be on your way. This man says, like, damn, Festus. That's rude. Ragged robes. Why the fuck we got ragged robes in here? Wardrobe. Um. I mean, I don't know. Oh, also, now I can do something. Since I did added this uh, little mod that um, increased the effectiveness of the Amulets of the Divines. Gameplay! Not legendary, but I'm going to go back to Expert. Because I really think I could do well on Expert, especially now that I have this no excuse not to. I just need to do some stuff. But yeah, Jin's heard of the Shadow Scales, so like he's kind of excited to get to meet like Vizara, because he grew up in Black Marsh. You know, they were heroes. They Jin knows that that was a godly order. They worship Sithis, all that. You know, they're basically murderous priests of Sithis. <laughs> Um, so he can obviously see that, like, Vizara has, like, a godly interest in this. Um, that is his religion. Babette is a vampire, so she just reaps benefit being here by virtue. She, she's fiery. Festus, um, is a little bit too obsessed with obliterating people and... Arn Bjorn's a very, you know, a warrior. No, he's a, he's a very classic example of a warrior Nord who really likes to kill. And he's a werewolf, so you know he probably feeds on a lot of the horses too. So many contracts, so little time. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. What? Um. Well, anyways, I'm ready for those first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right <clears throat> now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and they tilled a mine boss. When you've completed all those, I we'll see. see if I might have some more. Go on now. Why a beggar? Hmm. Oh, it seemed to be some sort of offering. Um... All right, well, let's get going, I suppose. Where is the... Losis? I think I have most of these books. I probably will need to grab Sithis. Um, I might not have that, but I'll do that another time. I'll check in real quick and I can even... I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Okay, never mind. All right. Off into the world I go. I love the, I love the idea that Jin's just assuming 
that the robes are completely inconspicuous. <laughs> He's completely blind now. He can't see the colors of it. He would just assume that some of the robes that are offered to him would be, uh... Concealing. <laughs> um... He is going to want to go... To... First contract, but maybe not yet. He might need to go grab something. Um, so actually, when Jin is not doing the murder, he is going to be wearing different robes. Um, for now, it's going to be these. I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to enchant these. But when he is doing Dark Brotherhood business, he will be, uh... He will be performing. He will be doing that. So, Narfi, Beltild, Beltild, and... Where's the other guy? Narfi, Beltild, and... Who's the other guy? <clears throat> okay. So. Jin's going to stop at Riften first. And... Well, we're going to get... Oh! Sophie! Papa! You're home! Let's play a game! Oh, uh, right now... You know what? Sure. Why not? What do you want to play? Um, let's play tag. Okay, you're it! Alright. Now, can I tag Is Lucia out, too? Are you uh, feeling sick? We're gonna finish this episode. The market, ideal oh, special got... goods for more than one of the stands. However, such a waste of time preaching to the poor. If they're that hungry, they should just grow some food or something. Excuse me, I don't like your tone there. Chicken. <laughs> All right, come on. Wait. Take my advice. Don't ah, you'll never catch me! Ha-ha! Oh! Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Easy. You'll never catch me! Be careful! Oh. I won't be beaten by a child. <laughs> you won't even know to come here. Oh, hey, Dados. Oh, yeah? Oh, there we go. Maramal said I could visit the temple whenever I wanted. You should. I think, you know, I feel like that would be a very safe line of work. Mara's priests are emotional healers. Be good for you to get that kind of mindset, even if you don't go into them. But first... <clears throat> Let's return to Honeyside. <clears throat> right. I need a mask. There's a silver mask, 
Do I have a gold mask? Tribunal mask silver. If it wasn't made of ebony, he licks it, he tells us it's made of ebony, I would use it. Where did I keep other mask? I'm so confused. Okay, so I don't have a gold tribunal mask, which is very odd. Topa, uh, greetings, honored friend. Got for sale, Medes. Medesi. Good journey, Medesi. Medesi. What do you got for sale? Apparel. Okay, you got nothing for me. Nothing. Keep your eyes to the road. Hello. You gonna stare all day or buy some armor? Got something Take for sale. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. All right. So for now, the tribunal mask. Ebony is going to have to do, though I would have liked hey, watch it. the gold one because it would match with my um would have matched with my uh circlet, but no matter. No matter. All right, so next time on the next episode, we are going to complete those contracts. Jin's kind of wants to see who, what these people are like first before he kills them. He's still not keen on the idea of being a hired killer, but you know. He's ready to do the job. Oh. Let's put put some of these things on. All right. Now it's time for him to head to his first stop. Iberstead. <laughs>